All right, so we have hashtag blood official launch trailer. I haven't reacted to this game in like a year. So get to the video. Brother, I've been like, listen, I haven't covered this game in like a year, bro. Like actual. If you guys hear the fan in the background, it's like 90 some degrees. My bad, I'm sorry. A video game about social media, awkward high school dances, and a world ending vampire apocalypse. Okay, I sort of, I kind of remember this. Assume the role of Becky Brewster. A okay. freshman transfer student turned unwitting vampire slayer. Explore Carpentersville. A quaint town with a vast underbelly of evil nooks and deadly crannies. Got a crowbar? Use it to get around faster, accessing shortcuts through the oh, sewers. Oh, wait, I do remember this. You'll make many friends, but only. Oh, no, 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 I actually do remember this. Bestie. I actually do remember this. Say hello to my little Brenda. Get help from your crafty neighbor. Wait, they just throw just a scar base line in here. Brenda with special attachments. Use the umbrella as a shield. Stun enemies and parachute off ledges. Okay, okay, Dig okay. Your way to hidden places with the shovel. Unearth treasure and root out pesky enemies. Ooh, Molly whopped. Let's you repel past obstacles, break barriers, and collect hard to reach items. Okay. Or train with your mentor Christofferson and unlock deadly finishing moves to vanquish your enemies in style. Okay. Expand your arsenal with ranged weapons. Nothing strikes a oh my god right in the heart like the precision of a number two pencil. Cherry bombs okay. pack a big punch to get you out of a jam or even open <laughs> Okay, I see what this game is. I see what this game is. The enemies you'll face are a menagerie of mutated monsters, malfunctioning machines, and bloodsuckers of every ill. They got Dracula in here, okay. Unique tactics to defeat. Okay, they got boss battles in here. Use that newfangled phone your dad gave you to snap a selfie pic. They just got the Samsung 3. Speaking of that phone, Perch's social media app is your lifeline to daily activities. Okay. Use it to make plans with friends, track your quest progress, and get helpful clues when you're stuck. But don't get too sucked into your feed. Those giant tech companies have ulterior motives. Dang. Be sure to stock up on school supplies and other necessities. They got your search history You'll and everything. It's over. Around town. GG. Shops, hidden chests, and that shifty looking dude in a trench coat. Ooh. The missions you'll face are a test of brawn and brains with many tricky puzzles to solve. Huh. But the biggest test of them all are those big baddie bosses, commanded oh. by the vampire lord, Dragor. Okay. Life won't return to normal until <laughs> Why you he announce his name? His minions <laughs> out. You must approach each Why boss he with unique his... combat techniques that you've honed over the course of your adventures. Okay. It's actually, it's not that bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. Adventure awaits in Carpentersville. So grab a controller. Don't miss class. Get on that bus and kick some vampire ass. Okay. Hashtag blood. The video game. <laughs> Available now. Okay. <laughs> Who's this commentator, bro? He needs a raise immediately. Uh, first of all, shout out to Humble Games uh, for this trailer. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I said, I do remember reacting to this trailer about a year ago. Like, it was crazy. I legit, as soon as this actually came up uh, in, my, in my notification feed um, on my phone from YouTube, I'm like, wait a minute, hashtag blood. I literally remember reacting to this trailer like last year. It was crazy. And I think a lot of you guys liked it, by the way. I, it, it, it was really surprising because um, a lot of these games that I think you guys won't know or like or like won't like, you guys like and you guys show like a lot of support in it. So shout out to you guys for like watching like the um you know the, the trailer last year. It was crazy. I didn't even know that people were interested in that game or sorry in this game. And you know a lot of you guys are interested in. It. So shout out to you guys for watching it. Shout out to you guys that are still here after a year. That's absolutely crazy. Um, you guys are the real MVPs if I'm being honest with you. Now. I think last year I said, and bro, I'm not even cheating because I haven't like watched. I, I don't really watch my videos after I record them. Uh, I kind of just like to like go all in for a video, or whatever, and then just upload it and move on. But I'm pretty sure if my memory does not, if, if my memory isn't corrupted, like the PlayStation, uh, I'm pretty sure I said that like the art style was definitely w was definitely different from like a lot of games, especially like since bro, it was in 2023, bro. Like a lot of like games came out 
uh, you know, of different art styles and different combats or whatever. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you. The art style definitely did impress me. Um, looks like they did live up to it. I didn't even know because here's the thing, bro. I thought this game would never launch. It, it was one of those games to where, like, I thought, okay, cool. If they don't come out with another trailer, like, you know. Um, and I'm pretty sure they had, like, another trailer, like, like four or five months ago, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, for, like, for me, it was one of those games to where, like, you know, if, if, this, if the game didn't come out, if the game, you know, stopped producing trailers or whatever, if the game just, like, lost, like, all the momentum or whatever, then I thought it was going to be, like, one of those games that, like, just, like, you know, that just would never come out. But turns out it's actually out right now. Um, this is the launch trailer, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Shout out to Humble. What was it Humble Games? Humble? Uh, was it yeah, Humble Games? Because uh, at first I did not know who made this game at first last year. So shout out to you guys. Um, the art style, I definitely still like stick to what I said last year. The art style is definitely cool. I like it a lot. It's different, bro. I don't know why, but like this gives me like um, it gives me like 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 cartoon vibes. It gives me like um, like um, listen, I don't want to disrespect, but it gives me like like current. Like, you know, Nickelodeon cartoon vibes, if I'm being honest with you. Obviously, like, the Nickelodeon that I grew up in was, the like, was like the GOAT, like, the greatest of all time. But, like, you know, like, the, like the kids' Nickelodeon nowadays, it's cool and all. But, like, this is something, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this is something that you will see on, like, a Nickelodeon or something like that. Um, which is kind of a compliment, if I'm being honest with you. I don't, I don't think that's, a, like, a, that's like a dig or, like, a, or like a burner or whatever. I, I think that's, like, a, a, like a compliment, you know. Um, it, it kind of reminds me of like a, of like a TV show, to be honest with you. Uh, the narrator really did. The narrator, I think, in my opinion, I think the narrator made it funny because I, I feel like this game right here is definitely more um, like more animated and more like you know the bosses. Are, you know, one thing is I did not know this game had like bosses like that. So, um, bro, it's so crazy because like, bro, we're now getting to that era because obviously games always had, games always had bosses, bro. But I don't know why. It's just like at like all of a sudden, bro. Is like maybe it's just like you know like Elden Ring and like you know, um, uh, what was it? What was it? Phantom Blade, um, um, Black Wukong. Like a lot of these like you know games where like I'm seeing like it's one person versus like this big huge boss. Maybe I'm just seeing like a lot of games that like you know contains like bosses left and right and stuff like that. But bro, a lot of these games that I'm seeing nowadays, bro, it, it's just like these boss games. Now, am I saying this is like some type of Souls games? No. But at the end of the day, like, it's just crazy on how, how, like, bosses are, like, the new, like, okay, once I beat this boss, I feel like I'm going to Super Bowl. I mean, I'm being, listen, if I'm being honest with you, bro, that's the feeling. Because, listen, I was playing Liza P the other day, bro. Brother, I beat my first boss, bro. I feel like I just, I feel like I just beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I, bro, I felt so proud of myself. It was crazy. Uh, comment down below. What do you guys think about hashtag blood? It is out right now. See you guys out. And 